as the players are ready to begin the seventh and probably final game. But wait, what if they tie? Do you know what happens then? I believe if they tie, they play a five-minute speed game. Is that correct? Sudden death? Exactly. Five minutes per side. I, I, I don't know. If we get a tie, that would be phenomenal. It would be it would be so so incredible to witness this the, for the first time having a sudden death uh, match at uh, at a tie score. The tiles have been put back into the bag, and I believe this time it is Jason to go first. But we're off to the races and Jason, oh my goodness. Okay, his last letter Ooh. again. The last letter being a vowel, saving his rack. Uh, he might still elect to exchange, but but in this position he can just play Fez for 30, and that should be good enough. That is... that's. I mean, that's kind of... At first glance, it seems close. I guess I would play Fez for 30, because uh, I don't think... TPVW is that bad, but exchanging keeping ETZ is that worth considering? Uh, and that's absolutely, what he that's what he to does. Do. What timing, you wizard! Wow. Um, yeah, I don't. I'm not sure which. Play. Yeah, I think either are reasonable. I, I mean, at first glance, maybe uh, Matthew O'Connor will come in and uh, give us a more clear answer. There's something I overlooked, but I I definitely spend some time deciding between those two. Yeah, absolutely. I think uh, I think both are both are very reasonable. Uh, we see Sean has noticed that he is one letter short of radioing, um, and he was about to just put radio on the board, but he's thinking about something else. Uh, there are lots of plays that he can make here. Uh, one of those plays is exchanging. Um, he can also play those two letters on the board, the I O that are that are in his uh, in his fingers right now. <laughs> he, he's clutching them and he's seeing if he should exchange them, maybe, or put them on the board, or do something else. I think it's a very close decision either way. I mean, what, what would you do here? I think exchanging I O is probably reasonable. Maybe playing a roid, um, doubling the D might be reasonable. I'm not. Mm-hmm. Again, I'd have to give it some thought. Um, no, I think a roid is probably the play. Um, but we do see the exchange, which following an exchange from your opponent, it is it is always better than average to exchange back. So uh, that could also tilt the scales. Uh, however, the problem with the exchange is that Sean does not have the E. The E is the best tile. Um uh, for, for bingos pretty much and without the e um it's it's a bit harder to draw into things uh we see that sean has drawn ch um which is quite interesting i don't know if that i think that yeah nerds does anything. Is, is the play here for jason um and yeah nice sure. find by jason of nerds yeah awesome awesome job i like it and and now yep uh, gives Sean Ooh. very nice in arch. Extremely fast find there. Wow. Amazing job. Cool. So this is a game. Um, of course, Sean draws first blood, gets the first bingo. But Nerds oh, scored wow. 48 points. And, and it looks look like at that. Jason's going to yeah bingo right back. So starting with, starting with some fireworks. Yeah, um, I see. I see the two seven-letter words on the rack, but in terms of anything else, um, it's taking me a bit longer. Um, what do you see here, Josh? Uh, a- Anti mirror at the very least is available. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm not actually. I'm not. Sh- there's probably other things that I'm missing at that point, but at the very least, I see that. Um, Anti mirror, yeah. So that would be a good find um, by Jason. And we see Sean has drawn a blank. And, uh, oh, there seems to be a dispute on the score of the play, but the clock has not been stopped. Ooh, that's a little bit of, of spice there. Um, if Sean was 
was recounting his play, he should have stopped the clock, especially given Jason was in time trouble last game. But yeah, Sean likes to put the time pressure on. So uh, yeah, <laughs> sometimes sometimes you forget to stop the clock through uh, through any when there are any disputes. But yeah, Jason's gonna have to have to find Antimir here. I think that might be the only. Yeah, I'm bingo. not I'm not seeing anything else. If there are other bingos, chat absolutely feel free to to call them out. Um, but if that's the only one, that, that would definitely be the play here. So to people, uh, people must hear the, uh, do people hear the widget sound every time one of those, one of those things goes up? Because if you can hear it, it reminds me so much of the, uh, the music right before a Pokemon evolves. Um, so like, when a Pokemon's ready to evolve, it goes like, do, 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 do. I don't know if you guys remember that, but to me, it's like the exact same sound, and it just brings me back. I'm filled with nostalgia at the moment. Anyways, I'm a nerd. What are you gonna do about it? I uh, okay. Don't have people much are reacting. <laughs> I'm not crazy. I don't have much exposure to those games throughout my life, but um, I trust you on it. Yes, and Burrito Scrabble, sadly, um, <laughs> uh, is probably not going to appear on the stream. I think we had ideas if uh, Jason was, was to win the last game. We were going to do a, uh, a fun exhibition match um, while waiting for, for the, uh, the right time to start the third and final bracket series, wherein I would be playing Burrito Scrabble against an unknown opponent. But um, yeah, I don't think that's happening. But uh, sadly, sadly, we won't be seeing any burrito scrabble. But you might be able to see some over um, over on my over on my Twitch channel, which I'm not going to plug because I'm not meaning to plug it. <laughs> I'm not trying to shameless plug, but I do play burrito scrabble from time to time. Where all you need to do to win is play the word burrito, and anything else loses. All right. All right. Um... It's been there spotted, so I guess Jason was either just found it or was doing his due diligence to try and see if there's anything else available, because it does put it right short of the double word, um, which isn't ideal, but if it's your only bingo, uh, it's definitely the play. Absolutely. Um, and we'll see how Sean responds. He has probably a variety of of ways to respond to uh, to this, uh, which a really cool one would have, would be over zeal, uh, which was mentioned uh, by Jellamokas. Also, hello to Elderword. And uh, Pachi asks, who is your favorite Pokemon? Josh, did you ever play Pokemon? Um, not that much. Uh, didn't have that much uh, exposure to that, that game, that franchise. Okay, fine. Then I'll answer the question. Um, <laughs> I actually don't know who was my favorite Pokemon. Um, it might have been... I think it was like a Gyarados, maybe? I don't really know. Yeah, I'll have to think about it. I'll have to get back to you, Patchy. But uh, lots of them. Lots of them were really fun. Weedle. <laughs> um, do people keep a count of remaining tiles when playing? Yes, that is part of the strategy. Um, once, you, once you get into the tournament scene and you start um moving up in divisions pretty much everybody at every point is tracking what tiles are being played so we see renovate come down for sean uh so All yes right. we did see the bingo bango bongo um so that's three that's three bingos in a row and um yeah, I think Sean is ready to play it. He still hasn't hit his clock. He's doing that thing again where he's contemplating his plays while they're on the board. Um, and actually, the, the, the interesting thing what that does um, is it sort of forces your opponent to stop thinking about what they're doing because your opponent is waiting for you to hit the clock. Your opponent is waiting, you, waiting for you to end the play. And that could be a good strategy just to shave off a few seconds. Although it is your time running, um, you sort of distract your opponent from their thought process. 
So uh, could be hmm. it could be a source of uh, of a little bit of a uh, little bit of an edge there. I'm not really sure, but I, I like to think about these things. So, so no, yeah. yeah, Jason B murmur doesn't quite fit. Uh, that would be awesome though. Um, he'll have B-murmur. to look for something wow. else. I think, yeah, I don't, I don't think there are any available bingos. So he's looking to get rid of the U's on double the R's. Um, yeah, it's not looking so great. Like close to Barium, Sean just uh, nodded at the camera there. Uh, yeah, look at that. <laughs> tipping his hat, tipping his hat to the camera. We caught that, Sean. Very nice. Yeah, we saw that. We, we like appreciate it. Appreciate that. I'm tipping my hair clump there. <laughs> um, yeah, we're gonna get we're gonna get the score updated eventually. Um. But I can tell you that Jason has 120 points, and I can tell you that Sean has 143. Uh, we just uh, need some need some time to get that uh, that score to you. Um, and I can maybe I can maybe follow the game along while that's happening because we're, we're working with some some technical difficulties in the background there. Um, but I think, yeah. I think we should be good eventually. Um, yeah. So Umber, that's a good play. Like Umber it. coming down. It seems reasonable. I didn't see. I, mean, I didn't see anything stand out. I really would have liked to give a uh, get rid of the two U's, but I I did not see a great play that did that. Um, and yeah, there's mention of. Okay. Ooh. Oh, okay. Con- not blocking Kanat. Kana. Um, however, it's pronounced. Yeah, that's uh, a really yeah. nice find. Um, he probably saw the word Kanat before, um, before the play of Umber, but now he can score uh, nine extra points while hooking, hooking the end to make number. Um, but other than that, yeah, Trank Trank was definitely available. That's a fun. Little word through the R of renovate, which scored forty eight, but this one this one scores over fifty. So really nice find by Sean, and Jason again really struggling with those uh, those those draws. I think. Uh, Quir- uh, Quiratus, I think I'm not sure how to pronounce that uh, Twitch handle, but um, asking, wondering relating to renovate. How much does the capacity to hook a D off of it matter when evaluating a play like that? Um, and it certainly does matter. Um, when you're ahead, you usually uh, want to try and uh, reduce the amount of open lines available places to bingo uh, so your opponent can't get back. And if you're bingoing and you'll still be behind, you might want to play a little more volatile. Um, I guess as a, as, a, as a short summary, maybe Josh can elaborate that on that a little more yeah, no that 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 that's perfect that's a perfect explanation um as you see zoral come down and zoral uh, looks strong get, there yeah we will get the scores don't worry guys um that'll be with you shortly and um yeah the this suggested play was r-u r-o-u-l-e to the e uh sec uh, first e in anti mirror which would have scored just around the same as Zoral and gotten rid of the U. And that was that a really tough strong. find. And we see Sift. So Sift. the S comes out, uh, making anti mirrors, which is going to score 36 points. That uh, also seems very strong. Eight yeah. points, actually. So, yeah, so I'm not exactly sure of the scores, discussion. but yeah. um, it, it leaves two I, it leaves IIEG, which is not great. Um, but especially since I believe Sean is still up uh, at this point, um, you definitely want to, uh, you know, keep your foot on the gas and try and keep outscoring. You're not nearly as worried about having to try and get a bingo to come back in the game because uh, you're already yeah. ahead. So sift there, even though it's not a, it's actually quite a terrible leave. Um, it scores a lot. So those are the kinds of uh, plays that you have to to take 
Oh, unless you have Ignifies on your rack. Oh, which wow. I think what is was available to the end as 64 bit Scrabble has pointed out. Yeah, that uh, that was a miss there. Um, yeah, that's a really tough one using using three eyes to make an yeah, eight letter word. Looking through an N, um, eight, three eyes, this kind of rack you look at and you're like, I don't want to deal with these eyes anymore. I just want to make a play and look at something else. Um, so those are, those can be quite difficult to spot. Yeah, perhaps, yeah, perhaps uh, that was, that was a playing too quickly moment. Um, and Jurel for Jason will bring him within 30 points of Sean. Um, so that's good. That's good for Jason. He's still fighting. This is just like the last game where Sean has the lead pretty much all game. Uh, but Jason continues to fight. So, uh, yeah, and here he is. He's drawn He's okay. drawn the other blank. He's, he's drawn the blank. Um, he's going to have he's gonna have things available to him for sure. Wow, yep. Okay, Yogi going, coming down pretty quickly. Mm -hmm. Nice, very nice. That's a good 31 points. Um, it seem, yeah, seems reasonable. And okay. so at the very least, someone's calling out ponytail, which looks great through the Ooh, end there, cool. doubling the P, doubling the word that's available. I think Tiro, Tiro, Pitta, Tiro Pitta through the R um, is not as good. Definitely not as good, I don't think, but it is a word. Um, I don't know if there are any sevens that play here. Um, Ponyta, but definitely... very nice. <laughs> Another Pokemon. Yeah. So the, the first thing I saw was polarity through the L, but all of the all of the words that were mentioned, uh, save uh, save Tyropedus seem better than polarity. Um, but yeah, sometimes when you have the Y, it's it's really difficult to find where that Y is going to be in the word. Um, but when you have the I T Y combination. You should be looking for words with that as well. So yeah, we'll see. We'll see what Jason comes up with here. Um, and depending on what that is, uh, he'll probably have a nice little lead for for a moment there. We have a bingo. What would be the blank here? Is that an, uh, would that be an L? A D? Hmm. A D? Oh, excuse me, a D. I wasn't, I didn't immediately, as like, is that a phony with anti-poly? Uh, no, it's likely a D with well, anti-poly. An yeah, is anti-poly phony? Oh, anti -poly. Uh, well, it would only be ponytail um, in that rack. Hmm. So I guess... I think shortly we will see what the blank is. I, is there only one? I think there's only one valid tile that blank can be. Yeah. Um, so, so we'll see. If it's wrong, it's okay, wrong. Wow. So, so it was. Yeah. It was not a. It was not a D. It could have been. Right. So it could have been any letter except the D, right? Oh, okay. Oh, excuse no. me. Wow. I was None totally mistaken. <laughs> Totally mistaken. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely none of them. Okay, total just total blindness from all sides. Just, just antipode. And now look at um, this. This wow. is really interesting because Sean now, he might want to spend some time trying to find bingos for Jason that Jason might have missed. Um, and if he does, it does the due diligence like we've done here. He'll see. The bingo's in all spots of the board. He'll be like, okay, well, I guess I'm not trying to block anything, but maybe he'll try to block a certain spot. Um, this, yeah, maybe he'll see ponytail. Maybe he'll see polarity. So he's he's putting, decided to an S on Jural, put an S which on Jural, which I, I again, yeah, I think this is think a second is a phony in a row. Oh my goodness. So we're going to see... Uh, as long as Jason challenges this, um, oh, he's taking it back. Uh oh. Okay. 
He's still playing with Churls. Playing hides. But Jason looks like he's going to challenge. I just can kind of see in his <laughs> eyes that he's ready to, uh, to challenge that. Um, actually, very interestingly, Jason isn't even moving his pen, isn't even going to his score sheet. That could be a tell that he's ready to challenge. Does, um, so does he normally, is it different from what he normally does? That's what I would be wondering. But it doesn't um, even look like he's holding. And it looks like it's been accepted. Sean has drawn tiles. All right. So Sean has gotten Jason back. Um, so the last game we saw uh, a phony five-letter word of C-L-A-I-R um, from, from Jason. And now this turn we see Sean Abassi getting away with... Uh, Getting away with a, a phony hook on Jurl. So, yeah, uh, we'll see if Jason's able to bounce back from this. But um, he still has Ponytail available. He still has Tyropita. Um, I don't know what the other the other available words were. But, um, yeah, this is this is really rough now, I think. So I don't, I don't think there are any sevens that hides have opened up. There's Opacity and topiary at the very least on the rack uh, i don't think these sevens play um mm -hmm. just off the top of my head um but i believe J uh ja rules is that a word yes it is Someone yeah. else put it in chat so th that may have been the the confusion there Jarul, yeah, Jarul, which one takes the s i always remember that word as like the uh <laughs> Was this he a, he was a rapper or something like Ja Rule? Yeah, like, it's it's a rapper. And I was I, I was always like, wait, how is how is Ja Rule a word? He's a, he's a guy, <laughs> but um, yeah, t totally different thing. Of course, it's a deciduous tree. Like we said yesterday, if it's not a tree, it's a monetary unit. It's not a monetary unit. It's a letter. It's not a letter. It's a stone. It's not a stone. It's a medication. I think I've gotten it down. There are a few other things a word can be, but that that's about it, pretty much. So if the A is left out in space here, which it doesn't look like it will be, Sean would have mm. apologia, which would be cool. Yep. Um, but it looks like Jason is just going to, he's has the Y in his hand. He looks like he's just going to fish off the Y here, um, hoping to next turn be able to play at least through the R or through the N or... Yep. Uh, make the blank an S and put that on Zorl's or a seven X to hides. So definitely spots yeah, available. Looking really good though for uh, for Sean, I think. Um, despite okay. him not being so really he's... close to anything, he's drawn the though... end. So yeah. yeah, Jason will be bingoing. So let's see what what Sean decides to do. Yeah, and even even if. Um... Even if Jason bingos, though, it's just going to be probably too little, too late. Um, as long as uh, Sean makes makes a scoring play, um, and he this, has yeah. pool on his rack. I think the, he might be thinking of playing that with Joel. Yeah, that's dead blocking Zorils, um, and also blocking probably most bingos through the R. Um, no, knowing that your opponent will almost certainly bingo either after they've played a phony or after fishing can be really powerful because um, it allows you to make certain openings or setups that you might not otherwise. For example, openings that can only be heavily punished by maybe like a short three-letter word with some heavy four-point tiles. Um, if you know your opponent's going to bingo or only has one-pointers, you can make those openings safely and try and get the first crack at them. Um, so that's always... a yeah. It's always incredibly interesting when uh, you've, your opponent has revealed information about what their rack is. But it looks like pool is coming down here, which looks looks reasonable. Yeah, Sean had uh, had Pog aligned on his rack. I wonder if he was communicating with us again. Um, but yeah, look at that. He's he's doing the uh, he's doing the changing his mind thing again. He does that, I think, a lot. Um, certain players will not put a play down until they are certain that that's what they want to do. Uh, but Sean is not, not afraid to change his mind. And he's going to play Polo instead, which is a more defensive version of, of uh, 
pool because it blocks that uh, second to last column where a lot of seven letter words can fit. So somewhat forcing JSON to find an eight letter word. Um, but there are a lot available. So are, how many how many S's are? Let's see one, two. Looks like there's still two S's out. Looks like Sean okay. dropped a tile under the board. You can have somebody pick it up for him. See, like, what better service can you get? <laughs> Drop a tile. It's like, no, no, I'm not picking it up. No, no, my opponent's not picking it up. No, director, come in and get my tile for me. Nice. Thank okay. you, Josh. Looks like Thank you, Josh. Josh getting getting Sean's tile, picking up after him. You love to All see All right, it. and Jason sees what I believe would be the strongest uh, strongest play here. Pintano's doubling the P, doubling the word. That looks pretty good. Mm -hmm. Yes, as just Josh says, drop tile there. We were uh, complimenting your, uh, your quick your quick retrieval, your quick pickup. And yes, Pintanos, that is a valid word. So Jason has uh, has made it through these blank racks. Uh, somewhat unscathed. He's down still by around 30 points. Uh, but we'll see what so, he draws out of the bag. Be yeah, interesting to see what's point, left. Yeah. Oh, okay. Not, not a great start drawing UU with the rack. Um, mm -hmm. so at this point, uh, on a W Sean just has to, yeah, Sean's just sort of looking to score here. I, I don't think you can really afford to think too much about blocking something like Wade, um, W A I D E looks pretty strong. Uh, oh, where was that down fit? from the triple, um, through the eye oh, of nice. and, uh, anti mirrors. Um, yeah, so something that's like super that looks, nice. looks reasonable. Um, it looks like looks he's like got fall formed on his rack. Yeah, under under uh, Yogi, which also looks decent. Mm -hmm. And uh, Jason, if that triple remains open, he has a pretty cute play there himself of Xine, uh, which would score fifty one points and maybe propel him back into the game. But uh, that will Though, be keeping a W and two yeah. U's, which is uh, really, really bad. So yeah, it definitely looks like Sean is 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 poised, poised to win this bout. But still a lot of uh, still a lot of turns to be played. I think uh, it would be nice to see what what's potentially unseen from uh, from Sean's perspective. However, um, but I can maybe figure that out myself. Uh, if I if I just stare at the board for like five minutes, <laughs> which I'm not gonna do, but yes, what a I don't know, lots of lots of fireworks in this game, um, lots of lots of surprises around the corners, uh, Jurls coming down, not being challenged, uh, it was only it was only five points to check that one, um, and yeah, uh, anti P O blank Y was played. And yeah, it was probably it was probably supposed to be a D because that that word does seem to make the most sense out of the possible um, possible eight letter words with that that form. Now, now that I'm thinking about it more, um, I actually think I like any like Fa or Wife, which he's got f uh, formed on his rack more than Wade because uh, it's blocking the only uh, or actually. No, wifed is better. Uh, I like it because it's blocking canats, bingos to canats, and then bingos to zorils, um, which are probably the, well, you also have numbers, um, but uh, I wouldn't be nearly as concerned because it gives a huge comeback. So something like wifed here, I think is really strong. Uh, blocking two sevens lines. Um, yeah, scoring so a decent making, amount. Making oh, wait, no, you, sorry. Not, um, yeah, maybe wife yeah, something like that. MEW. That looks pretty M -E -W. good. MEW. Um, or maybe something like, hmm, I don't know, wife making Y-E. Uh, wife? Um, you mean? Yeah, that's what he's looking uh, for right Yeah, now. something like that. Um, potentially potentially calling, uh, calling out to a certain member of chat. 
Um, but no, wife does is what he's All right, wife. down on the board. I, yeah, I, I like the committed. idea of that a lot. Yeah, because like yeah, blocking numbers, blocking Kenats, and blocking sevens that end in an S that hit Zoril. Um, still possible to hit it, but now the S has to go not at the end, which is uh, a lot less uh, likely. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is a very defensive play by Sean, and with his with his uh, thirty point lead, uh, this is this is what you want to be doing here. Um, and yeah, so if Jason's able to spot his huge play of Xene, which he does, wow, very, very quickly. Yeah. He was probably waiting for it. Um, beautiful find there. Uh, basically tying the game up. He's going to be down 10 points. Um, and yeah, I think things are still somewhat unclear. Jason can draw something pretty good here and give himself a good chance to, to stay in the game. So, okay, he pulls both S's. Ooh, um, that's what he needed. But Sean's, Sean's going to try and block that spot as much as he can, obviously. Um, really the last, it's like the last dangerous spot on the board, especially with the S's unseen. Um, also playing quite fast. Um, yep. But yeah, so it looked like, yeah. x -Scene looked pretty forced, even though you had to keep a pretty terrible leave. But you, you got to do it to stay in the game. And then... I think uh, some play under Yogi blocking Zoro seems pretty forced here. Um, with the two S's unseen, you really gotta uh, take that away from your opponent. And yeah, uh, the, another thing about the play of Xene is that it creates a, a possibility of ending a word in E, which uh, a lot of words in the English language end in E. Um, and that's that's going to be a threat for for the rest of the game for Sean. Um, I think what Jason's going to want to do here potentially is make a play re-underlapping gag, probably playing T-O-W-S underneath there because that scores a ton of points. Um, mm. It's 40 points, and that's going to put him in the lead. But this all depends on, uh, on how many letters are left in the bag. Uh, that, that yeah, so that, that seems for. I mean, I would love to be able to get rid of at least one of the U's so that I've, you know, I could plausibly threaten bingos to the E or maybe even to the Q. Um, but um, yeah, you're you're down. Uh, I, th I think yeah, just outrunning here too is is another possibility you have to consider. So he's formed it on his rack. Um, yeah, like something like. Uh, yeah, like WUS under gag would be getting rid of one of the U's, but it's not nearly as strong um, as Tau's. Tau's is just too many points here, I think. Yeah. Okay, so we have we have unseen letters. Thank you very much. Um, that appears to mean that there are nine tiles in the bag, so this play will leave five tiles in the bag. Um, so Sean's going to have a little bit of leg room here to make... A uh, three or maybe a four tile play, and take the lead once again. But things are are heating up in this uh, in this consolation game for uh, for Jason. I think uh, he still has a little chance. And no, the double eye draw. Okay, that looks that looks pretty decisive. Um, I think Sean's going to be able to score a little bit with with his K. And it's going to be really hard for Jason. Where do you see the, uh, the K going the down here? Um, just like, I think something just like uh, Kana uh, may, uh, through the N and Pintanos is potentially okay here. But seems reasonable. Yeah, that's, that's maybe, no, maybe Aka is better, aka um, to not give back the triple. But Sean looks to be considering V-A-R-A -A, uh, to the A in anti mirrors, which would be a, a nice play to block the E as well, um, which he's probably a little bit worried about. Uh, as we see now in scene to Sean, there, there appears to be at least a couple words that can play to that E and X scene. So the play of Vara seems very thematic here. 
And is that from his perspective, that that might be the only reasonable way he can lose? Um, can you score something hooking Zoral? Are you going to be outrun that way? Oh, he's down. Okay, we have an updated score, down eight points. Yeah. Mm, okay. So I, he has he has the tough. benefit of tempo here, though. Uh, and tempo is a very important concept nearing the end of the game. Um, if you are, you're making a play that pretty much forces your opponent to make a play emptying the bag, that gives you a lot uh, of room to work in the end game. Um, because you're first to act, and you can make you can make a nice sequence of plays, create a nice sequence of plays, um, and make up some points in the process by getting some Zuglia points from your opponent's rack. Mentioning quietude um, as maybe a possible, I guess, fish for Jason, um, which is something that, depending on Sean's next play, he he might have to go for. I'm not sure, depending depending on what Sean plays, I don't know if it would be possible for Jason to try and outrun or if he just has to go for broke um, and maybe fish for something like Quietude or play like Dewey, D-U-I, fishing off U-I, going for like uh, Quiest and then opening T-I to the triple or something like that, depending on how many tiles remain, of course. Right, and I don't really see a possibility of something like this right now, but... It's possible something like GOE will be available for four points at the bottom of the board uh, for Jason to try and set himself up a little bit. I but, guess he's, um, he's going to be hoping to draw the R after playing that. Well, um, this is this is once. Um, this oh, is once, once the R. Yeah, leaves this the, is once, okay, once he plays Sean the R. Plays the R. So he's he's considering Koa here. Uh, which is similar to the play I was talking about of Oka, of Aka or Oka uh, atop of Pintanos. Um, he can also just play OK underneath. But yeah, it's it's a tough position because although Sean is behind eight points, he does have he does have the benefit of of probably winning most of the end games if he's able to prevent Jason from from getting a bingo down. Uh, it's just it's just a question of what's the best technique to, to maximize your score over the next few moves. And it's very unclear here. All right, we see we see Gook come Playing. down just, just trying to Playing score. Gook. And that prevents what I was talking about from happening. Um, now Jason has no way of, of setting himself up along the bottom row. Um, Sean has drawn... The, the B and uh, Jason, yeah, low on time again is going to play mm, Sui. Okay. okay, Sui, uh, which which is going to empty the bag, uh, but score twenty one points. He's going to be ahead by two points in this end game going into this end game, but it's going to be relatively simple, I think, for uh, for Sean to. Uh, to win this game at this point. I think the bag is now totally empty, potentially. Yeah, it seems um, like it. Uh, if, if Sean finds any reasonable out of two, uh, they probably don't even have to score much at all. Um, that would, I assume, be enough to, to threaten the win. Um, so definitely, yeah, I'm not sure what... Um, Sui, I think, may have been a little hasty. There's probably, I think you might have to fish at that point. Can you outrun? In that situation, you may have to go for a Q bingo or something to the E. Um, yeah. Maybe you have to empty the bag. Um, but maybe, I don't know, could you fish off UI, maybe uni to the N? I don't know what that hits, but... Um, yeah, definitely uh, this puts on the pressure. It puts the onus on Sean to, to find a correct sequence. But uh, yeah, it does not look like the play of Sui won very often. Um, so yeah, I think this might go to Sean. Uh, he only has three minutes left to figure this out, but it, it's looking good for for all the Sean the Sean supporters in chat. Uh, and I wanted to thank Smurfonix subbing a tier one to the official Scrabble channel. Uh, we appreciate that. Um, thank you. Yeah. And all right, so the right. optimal sequence on both sides has been confirmed to win the game by a whopping twenty eight points. 
um, if if the best play of bat is played, which is really um, wait a second. Uh, actually, that's probably inaccurate um, because the the play of bat is setting up um, setting up a phony three letter word. I think um, so. That's probably not the best sequence, but um, something like Tav in that spot or uh, with suit is is more than enough to win for sure. Yeah, uh, no. So that actually it was confirmed and then debunked that uh, that bat is the best play. Um, due to some some lexical issues here, <laughs> the word still being valid. Um, but yeah, uh, yeah. So it looks still, like I don't know. There's still some poison. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Um, Sean just needs to keep it together. Yeah, Sean, yeah, Sean. I mean, if you like accidentally phonies or something, that would be disastrous. But um, it looks like he has tabs set up, um, looking probably to play suit here. Um, and it looks like he's looking over the board, seeing if he has an outplay for his remaining four tiles of Vera, um, which I, th I think he would, if that went down, you at least have Reeve to the E. Uh, actually, oh, and then Rave next to number. Um, oh, you have also... Well, you can't you can't make a great play with this, but E R F um, is a cute fit there. But I don't think oh, you yeah. have any decent plays that between that the plays that. of number and wife. Yeah, just dropping the E there, uh, dropping the R there, making making a word there would be pretty cool. But yeah, it doesn't seem to be anything available. Um, yeah, all right. Chat so, calling out. Yeah. Some outplays, rave or avert. Yep, avert to the T and anti mirrors. Also, oh, Vera, of course, through the R. Mm -hmm. So yes, yeah, this is going to Sean has options, sure. um, and I'm sure that he saw them because he he played tab. I I don't. He would not have played tab if he saw that if he did not see a win for himself. So mm -hmm. I'm sure he has seen a win, which will be good enough. Um, yeah, absolutely. So, yeah, that should be that should do it. Um, yeah, so you don't have to make Tav, Kyarados. Um, there are many ways to win this game. As long as Sean was creating a situation where he's scoring a few points and he's allowing himself to use all of the four remaining tiles or however many remaining tiles are on his rack, he is good enough to win this game. And that is, once again, demonstrating the power of endgame tempo. If you are first to act in an end game and you both have full racks uh, and the scores are close, you are almost always going to win that exchange. So uh, okay, so yeah, Jason lining up, or he had lead on his rack, making elf, um, which is a lot of points. Uh, mm. But as sixty-four bit Scrabble has uh, stated in chat, it will not be enough. If Sean plays correctly, um, lead will lose by uh, 11. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Yeah, so uh, these are the final final moments of the second, um, the second bracket in this event, the consolation bracket. This was uh, the last remaining game. The players are poised to start the third and final bracket uh, after this game is over and we are going to be presenting almost certainly um, the two finalists will anderson and jason keller they are playing for a difference of 900 dollars uh first prize is um what is first prize i think it's like 1600 uh, 1500 is the first prize and 600 is the second prize, which is a very, very hefty amount uh, for a Scrabble tournament, also a hefty amount for the number of players in the event. Um, and so Eku came down and Rave came down and that'll be it. And Sean is able to win three games in a row to come back in a desperate situation against Jason Yubika uh, to, take, to take the second series. And so we're going to have a little bit of analysis um, right after this. We're going to have 
our friend Matthew come back in. I'm going to take a short break.